Hello everyone. In this session of NC Systems, uh, I'm going to discuss about part programming, where uh, it is related to NC procedure, which I have discussed earlier. NC procedure, where in NC procedure we have five different steps need to be followed. Number one is process planning. Number two, part programming. Number three. Uh, tape preparation and tape verification finally comes production why we do any manufacturing sequences finally the ultimate aim is to manufacture the component to do this in NC system we have to follow up with number of steps which is a sequential order now for example if I'll say part programming and today's topic is all about part programming this is a topic today now while discussing NC procedure, I have explained there are two ways of part programming. One is manual and number two is computer assisted part programming. Okay, this is our topic today. What is manual part programming and what is computer assisted part programming? Those two I'll try to explain you in detail today. Okay. Now this manual part programming, how manual part programming is performed. Okay, the programmer write the machining instructions on a special form. In case of manual part programming, machining instructions are written on a special form, which is called a manuscript or part programming, part programming manuscript this you need to remember okay what is this part programming manuscript this manuscript will give you detailing of complete machining process okay listing of this will give you listing of or list of relative tools relative tools uh, and workpiece locations is also give you information about workpiece locations all right this manuscript means just by looking at the manuscript a punch tape can be created which is of one inch which I have drawn while explaining you about this is how we represent a simple punch tape representation okay in case of NC system, I have explained you all the stuff. So this, this is how you need to represent the tape. Okay. So the list of relative tools and workpiece locations are there in the manuscript just by looking at that uh, punch tape is prepared. This includes data such as uh, preparatory functions, miscellaneous uh, functions or instructions, speed, feed, and specification. What are all the information that this particular manuscript contain? So I. I Broadly, I said it has a relative tools and workpiece locations. Other than this, uh, you could see, other than this, this includes, this includes, number one, uh, data related to the process. Number two, uh, data, what type of data? Let me, number two it is not number two now what type of data if i say simply data uh, you may not understand then uh, such as uh, preparatory functions okay preparatory uh, commands let me write it as preparatory commands and uh, miscellaneous instructions number two this i call it as one maybe two miscellaneous miscellaneous instructions okay and information about speed and feed of machining speed and feed related to that particular machining operations so the manuscript contains this particular manuscript contains information all this information related to that specific operations all right now coming back to coming back to computer assisted part programming don't get confused whenever i will say capp in case of CAD system 
is also called as computer aided process planning which is one more topic exists which is most important important topic but here we are calling it as computer aided or uh, computer assisted sorry computer assisted part programming okay what how does this help uh, writing a program in cap computer assisted part programming the machining instructions are written in uh, written in english statements or english like statements okay like the way we write the sentence is to communicate with others in the same way the instructions are written by using a language called english uh, the statements are also almost like a simple sentences like uh, sentences only it is not like a uh, punch it tape okay that also i try to brief uh, next the machining instructions are written in this form okay in case of nc programming language then these instructions are uh, processed by computer to prepare the complete tape okay finally these are processed by by computer why we do processing because finally what is required computer to prepare the tape tape has to be prepared tape has to be prepared the idea is to prepare the tape only here by using a manuscript we go and uh, by using CAPP we go by English like statements which are uh, provided by a computer that will process that those instructions are printed on the tape okay this computer is automatically punches the tape in the uh, tape format okay now here whenever I talk about CAPP two things comes into picture for example let me brief you two things comes into picture well, number one now for example what are what is the what are the responsibilities of a programmer first one responsibility of a programmer of that is important of a programmer okay now his responsibility is to define the part program geometry what is the shape of the geometry for example part let us say work part work part geometry nothing but he give the uh, complete metric information related to that particular component number two is specifying the operation sequence sequence of operations so he or she who is going to write a program who is responsible to write a program they should have an idea about these two one is the geometry of or not no, nothing but the shape of the com component or sequential operations or sequence of a tool path okay next number two what is the role of a computer the role of a computer is let me write it as a role here role of computer here we have seen the role of a programmer here the role of a computer is a uh, maybe it is input translation whatever the information we input that has to be translated that is more important B bit okay arithmetic calculation this is more important unless you have this option then it is not possible to do any calculation part see this is a job of a again a computer then cutter offset compensation offset compensation compensation means for what is now these two are simple terminology now when i say cutter offset compensation for example there is a workpiece where it need to be milled milled for example if i position there, here is the cutting tool if i position this it may come sit something like this here but the idea is 
the circumference of the cutting tool should touch the surface of the workpiece this is more important it should travel either in this direction or in this direction that is the idea okay it will rotate accordingly it will remove the material that is the idea so this from the origin from the origin initial position i am trying to compensate to the compensate to the right of the workpiece right of the workpiece that is called the offset offset compensation okay and finally d it is post processor this is post processor now let us see one by one what is input translation i just try to uh, brief you uh, with simple words this will convert the coded instructions contained in program into computer uh, usable form now input translation the name itself indicates uh, the code will be decoded okay it convert it convert the coded instructions the coded instructions contain in program into computer usable form means the way computer will understand computer usable form this is what it mean okay that is what, that is how you can elaborate the answer now coming to arithmetic calculations uh, in this particular part programming the geometry and uh, trigonometry of calculations whatever the calculations required for that particular geometry that will be fulfilled by using arithmetic calculations cutter offset as i said just now offset the tool path from the desired desired part surface by radius of the cutter it all depends on the radius of the cutter for example again i'll repeat the explanation here is the position initially the diameter is 20 mm i need to offset to the right means radius 10 mm has to be offset let me change the color so that you will understand better now if I offset by 10 this is the meaning okay it got offset by 10 mm based on the radius based upon the radius that is what it means now finally what is a post process okay this is the final task of a computer in a cap uh, system uh, which will give the general instructions and make them specific to a particular machine tool system okay this will make the uh, make it specific Me means post process is a separate computer uh, program that has been written to prepare the punch tape for a specific machine tool okay here the complete work become very specific uh, what to be done how to be done so the input to this particular post processor input to the post process is from again uh, a bit a which is input translation through input translation only okay and arithmetic calculations and cutter offset so post processor is one where it will get the input from all the three branches okay this is how uh, it will follow now let me uh, just for your understanding other than the explanation i'll try to draw a simple sketch so that you'll understand now let us say i am the user uh, i am the user the idea is to write a program which i call it as a pt automated programming tool this is a program okay then the idea is to present on crt okay now in that you have input translation input translation then arithmetic calculations then cutter offset compensation okay followed by post processor okay let me create a simple block diagram all right this is how i can explain you and this is one segment this is the other and all are interlinked 
okay the information is transferred something like this okay finally the information is pushed to post processor okay whatever pushed to post processor that will be not, that is going to print on a uh, a tape that is going to print on a tape and that is passed on now let me change the color it is a bit not clear let us consider this as the tape and the tape from the tape it will go to the controller controller the tape will roll and uh, read the information interpret the information and the same information is passed to the machine tool for operations okay this is how before process i'm explaining you okay this is how the process will be there will be a user who will use apt program uh, the crt contains all the information related this is how the data will transfer and travel throughout the process okay just this simple uh, sketch will make you understand uh, clearly about what exactly this particular uh, nc system is or CAPP system look like all right uh, this is all for the topic and uh, if you have any queries or any topic if you want me to explain in detail other than my explanation you can comment in the box given below thank you